Miami is one of the epicenters of the nation's real estate collapse, but now condominium sales there are soaring thanks to some ridiculously low prices. NBC's Michelle Franzen is in Miami to explain. Michelle, good morning. Well, good morning, Carl. Falling home prices, a jump in foreclosures, and a backlog of inventory are helping drive these deals to the price some pay for a new car. We're not talking about the newly built luxury condos, but instead older, smaller units at prices Miami hasn't seen in decades. Not far from famed South Beach, the so-called American Riviera, some prime real estate has suddenly become as affordable as, well, a luxury car. Actually, you're looking at a one-bedroom, one-bath, about 750 square feet here. Um, you can't beat it on Miami Beach. Can't beat the price. This condo at the King Cole is listed for just under $50,000. $49,900. There's not a number missing there? Oddly enough, there isn't. All this just blocks from the beach. Plus, for $500 a month in maintenance fees, high-rise living. Uh, there's concierge, there's 24-hour security, there's valet parking. This is a full-service building. And right on the bay? And right on the bay. In an odd twist to the real estate bust, investors and first-time home buyers are gobbling up foreclosed condos. If you're coming in all cash, you could steal in this town. Peter Zalewski, founder of Condo Vultures Realty, says there are steals all across South Florida. On the market, more than 68,000 properties from Miami and Fort Lauderdale all the way to West Palm Beach. Of those, more than 6,000 are priced under $50,000. In some buildings, condos have sold for as little as 30000 Thanks to the Trouble Assets Relief Program, or TARP, or some of the federal bailout money that's going to the banks to allow them to clean their portfolio. This is a Fannie Mae-owned property. Bargain basement prices where sellers and banks lost big, but where buyers may walk away with the deal of the decade. What sort of value did this space have before? What did it sell for? The last sale on this apartment was in 2006 for $160,000. And now? We're talking an asking price of forty nine nine. A chance for investors to turn a profit. Entry-level buyer, studio apartment, one block from the center. Or first-time buyers with cash apartment. or good credit to a own a slice of the American dream, Miami style. And now that word is getting out, there will be a small window of opportunity for some to cash in on that dream because, Carl, at those prices, these condos just won't last. Those are some incredible numbers, Michelle. Thanks for that, Michelle Friends.